Hello, and welcome to this bonus episode of Tuesday Tips. I'm Pam Keslauskas, and we're going to be talking today about how to find demographic information for your marketing plan. When I looked at the data that you might need in your marketing plan for the Tuesday Tips, I had mentioned that one of the best places to find this information is going to be on the U.S. Census page. But I also did note there that it is not the most user-friendly page I've ever seen. So it really does help to have somebody walk you through a little bit of how you can find data and how you can really identify which reports are going to be helpful. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look first at the main census data page. So in your browser, you're going to be looking at data.census.gov. That will take you to the census data page and you'll see that the first thing on the page is explore census data and you get the search bar that you can type in. You could type in race in the United States or ethnicity in New York City. But I find that that's really a broad way to search for it. I know I'm going to need information that's in the census tables. It's the easiest way to find and print information. And there is an option for that right on the first page. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit to where it says find tables. And then just about in the middle of the page is this explore tables hyperlink. I'm going to click on that. And that will bring me to this page that has all of the census data put into these tables. So what you're going to find here are filters on the left hand side options sort of in the middle, and then you can get a preview on the right hand side of what you're looking at. So let's say today that we want to look at race and ethnicity information in Butler County, Alabama. So I know here under filters, I'm looking at geography and there are other filters too, like topics and surveys, but I'm going to look for geographies first because I want to narrow down what I'm looking at. So I am looking for a county. I'm going to pick Alabama in the middle here, and then I'm going to look for Butler County. On the right, I'm going to see all of the potential surveys that might help me. I've got race. I've got the American Dem uh, demographic surveys, the American community survey, demographic and housing estimates. I've got geography, age and sex. So what I'm going to do now is dial this in a little more. I have my geography filter and you can close that up a little bit by clicking this window. So now I'm going to go into topics and I see race and ethnicity as a topic here. So I'm going to click that. So now I have filtered it by geography and by race. What can get complicated here is that you can search by white, you can search by Hispanic, you can search by all of these different categories. So if I go back, I want to know all of it, right? So I'm just going to leave this here and see what it gives me. So for the census, we have race and ethnicity, we have the topics there, which I didn't select because I want the widest possible options. And then for the census here, it lists the race table. So I'm going to click that. And then what you need to do to actually see it is go all the way to the right to these double arrows and bring all of that in. So that hides that so that you can see the table. So what you're seeing here is Butler County, Alabama. There's the total population, the different races, a population of two or more races, population of three races. So I've got a lot of different options here. I am going to just look at this one race breakdown here. And in order to print it, if I print it now, I'm going to have pages and pages and pages of options. 
So I'm going to shrink down the options I don't need. Okay, so if I were just looking at race, here is my information. I've got white, black, American, Indian, Alaskan, Native. I've got Asian, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, and then some other race. So if I wanted to print this, what I'm going to do now is take this. I'm going to go to more tools. You can also export it by Excel and various other things, but I'm going to print this. And this is the reason that I wanted to shrink it down because what will happen is if you want to print it, you'll just get the first page. If you want multiple pages of data, you're going to have to export it. So I'm going to print it. That's going to bring up my print window and then you print as you normally would. I tend to save these to PDF so that I can include them later. Okay, so let's go through that again. I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to go down to find tables, explore tables, and then I want the filters. So if you don't see them, you can click in this filters button all the way on the left hand side. We're looking at race and ethnicity for Alabama, Butler County. And any of these topics that have collapsed, you're going to click on the arrow next to them and that'll open them up again. So for geography, I looked for county. Then I'm going to select the state and the county that I want. And then you have a couple of options. You can either scroll down here on the right hand side and pick a report. Or you can select another filter and then dial in your information a little more closely. So I'm looking at race and ethnicity. I don't want to select a particular group, although if you want race and ethnicity, you can click this not Hispanic or Latino and you can get some other options. So there's Hispanic or Latino. There's all sorts of options for us and you can dial that down even by if you want to look for C Cuban, Dominican, whatever it is that you want. I'm going to go there and I'm going to pick demographic and housing characteristics. And now I've selected all my filters, but I still don't see the report. Well, in order to see the report, you need to go up into the right side into this double arrow here. Click it and then you should see your report. If you see nothing, that means that it, it doesn't have the report under those particular filters. So you're going to want to go back and try something else. Now I will tell you that I have in the course of just doing so many of these found out that there's a report that tells me the race and ethnicity information. So I'm going to look for that report in the search bar. It's the DP1 report. So that'll pop up the different information. DP1 general demographic characteristics is what I want. I'm going to click that arrow over and voila, I have all the information I want. So if you happen to know that, you can go back to your filters, pick the location that you want. And I know that almost always this DP1 report is going to give me exactly what I want. I'm going to search for that up in the bar up here, and then I'm going to pick the most recent one. So the 2020 demographic profile. And now all I have to do is get that report from the screen into my hot little hands. So one thing that you need to know about printing these is that unless you want all of this information, you're going to want to narrow this down to exactly the information you need so you don't have pages and pages to print. The way that you do that is to click these little down arrows. So I don't care about sex and age, so I'm going to close that out. I don't care about any of that. I do care about race, so I'm going to leave that one. I do care about Hispanic or Latino, but I don't need Hispanic or Latino by race, so I'm going to close that out. I don't care about relationship. I don't care about type of household or occupancy. Don't care about vacancy rates, housing tenure. So I'm going to close all of that up so I can limit the amount of pages I have to print. So now you can see that I have by county, Butler County, Alabama, 
the race and Hispanic or Latino in this report, which is exactly what I needed. Great. I've selected what I want. Now I want to print it. How do I do that? You go to more tools, click that and select print. And then it gives you two options. Printing will only include one page. So I want to narrow everything down to one page if I can, or I can export it to Excel. So I'm going to print this. I'm going to check my preview to make sure everything fits on the page. And then what I typically do is I save it as a PDF. So I'm going to save this and then save it as whatever you want. You can save it as, I tend to save it as race and ethnicity county in my marketing folder. So I know what I'm looking at, but that's how you get to it. Now with disability, which is the other thing you really need to look at when you're talking about marketing plans, you're going to want to clear out the different topics. So you're going to clear out your search folders and start over. So I'm going to pick Alabama again, Butler County, and now I'm going to close up this ge geographies window. See that little arrow there so that I can find topics. Now, with disability, there isn't a headline like there was for race and ethnicity specifically for disability. So you have to go to populations and people that'll open this middle window here. And I'm actually going to search for disability. If I can spell didn't come up with anything there. So I'm going to go up here and try the main search for disability. And if you look on the right hand side, I get disability characteristics from the American Community Survey. And then I have all sorts of other options. Well, I don't necessarily want this American Community Survey. Let's say I want to see if the census has it. You can come down to one of these filters and select surveys, census, and now I get Profile of selected social characteristics, but it's from the 2000 census. Not necessarily what I'd prefer. So I'll go back down here and say, okay, what does the American Community Survey have? Well, all it has is one year supplemental estimates. Does it have five year? It does. So I may take that or I might look at this option here. I have the ACS five-year estimates. Okay, well, that seems pretty good. Disability characteristics. Let's see what it has there. So I select the report. And again, to actually see the report, I need to click on these windows and close that out. So let's see what I'm looking at here. Well, it has total civilian population gender, which I don't care about. It has race, so I could potentially use this if I wanted to. But in this report, I'm not looking for race. I'm just looking for disability. So I can close anything out unrelated to disability. This has it all broken down. Hearing difficulty. vision difficulty, cognitive difficulty, ambulatory difficulty, and all broken down by age. So that's not necessarily going to be the information I want, right? But if you look at this top line here, total population with a disability. So just this one line gives me everything I need and I don't need all of the rest of this stuff. I can close that out. Now, the one thing that's challenging when it's spread out like this is printing it. So what I tend to do is I play with it a little bit because I want to make sure it fits on one page. The estimate is there, the margin of error. 
percent with a disability squeeze this down a little bit and then I'm probably going to be able to fit this on one page but let's take a look we want to print it print anyway make sure to check your preview to see if everything fits in this case it does I'm going to save it to a PDF again and now I have my information for county for both race and ethnicity and disability then what you're going to do is you're just going to keep doing that for the information that you want so you're going to go back clear your filters now I want to do it by state so I'm going to go to state Alabama and you do the same thing again I know I like that DP1 report for race so I'm going to do that select that close the window there's the report close out all the topics I don't need when I tend to use if I have it and sometimes you have different data in here is I'm going to close out this one race and do race alone or in combination where I can this one is not giving me a lot of detailed information there so I'm going to close that out and go back to my one race that looks to be the best option Hispanic or Latino I don't care about the original Hispanic or Latino I don't care about a race breakdown in that section so I'm just gonna close out what I don't need make sure I have what I do which is race information okay great and then I have Hispanic or Latino I know the Hispanic or Latino of any race which is what I wanted to get I don't need relationship I don't need households by type and then I'm gonna print it check it to make sure it's gonna print what I want and then either print it or save it as you wish and you're gonna keep going back and doing that so if I wanted to do it by census tract I would have to know what my census tract is there are tools that you can look that up you can just type look up census tract by address into the search bar and it'll give you that option but if I decided I wanted to go back and look by census tract I would go census tract Alabama Butler County and then you have all the different census tracts so we'll pick one here 9530 and go through the same thing you have the breakdowns of the different reports let's say I decided to use the ACS report here you select it then you close with these windows and there's your report again before I print it I don't care about sex and age there's race this one has race alone or in combination I'll take that Hispanic or Latino all I need to know is are they Hispanic or Latino don't care about voting age population so that is my information by census tract so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep going back filters and topics filters and topics and then you can print the information out that you need Thank you.